Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a little while. I have been using the car, if you've been watching the videos, to track it. Did a few track events. I ordered a splitter for the Civic Type R and it finally came in. It was actually a month behind, but I'm about to do an install. So this is what it looks like. So the only ship out, I think it's three inch splitters, is what I got. Anything over, they won't ship out. So you have to either make it, but this is, this will do for what I need. Um, let's see it comes with. Spare instructions. And it's got the quick release brackets. And all the accessories that you're gonna need. So I'm going to try to do an install video, putting everything on. So the next step right now will be to take my front bumper off. So I'm going to get it jacked up here in a little bit and remove the front. Let's see about getting this uh, splitter installed. Alright, so I got my bumper off, but I can't put the chassis mount on until I get my front bumper reinforcement bar so i guess the last owner took it off and decided not to put it back on i reached out to him so hopefully he still has it if not i gotta find one so a little delay so, it is what it is to be continued welcome back to my channel I finally got the crash bar in. I'm finally about to start installing the race breed splitter. Finally, it came in. I've already started doing some work, so the headlights need to be popped out. As you can see, it's just like three or four bolts. One right there. Up top here, which would be here. Here. There's one under here. And on the side again over here same side and there's bolts that go in here as you can see for your bumper support um, once I got that on I finally started putting the splitters on here it's pretty easy mounting the bracket bars on here it comes with instructions but what I'm finding out with this Mishimoto intercooler it is pretty tight I'm rubbing over here and they said it would be fine but I'm still rubbing um, I'm gonna probably reach out to them see what's going on with that but I'm still gonna install it and as you can see I done mark my dots out here and here it's for this bracket it's gotta go it mounts to it part of the chastity and it goes underneath here there's a little bracket they use as you can see I get right here and it's real tight and once I get it to the spot it needs to be real tight probably no room and it kind of snug fit right there this side's not the worst it's this side protrudes out further so I had to adjust these brackets and I already got the holes here as well but once you start putting everything on it will rub as you can see right here it's rubbing and it kind of bows out a little bit so because I don't have it needs to go more right if they had holes on the splitter a little bit further out where it had more adjustment for the bigger intercooler but it's still doable. Um, again, I'm gonna reach out to them and see what else I could do or maybe help them figure it out. They might have never done a Michi Motor intercooler. I don't know that, but I think on their shot, their site, it shows a PRL intercooler. Might be a little different. So, again, 
I'm on the way to install. Hopefully I get this done tonight. If not, I'll be in the morning. So, this is where I drilled. You want the drill to offer Here's the other red dot. And it has to be able to fit in. They give you a package. That one's in there. And you just do the rest of them like that. And that's what the rib nut gun got it uh, $21 off Amazon. All right, so I finally got the splitter on. Everything is uh, on there pretty good. I put the bumper on. I'm gonna have to put, make some slight adjustments and all the bolts are not tightened all the way down. So I'm gonna start adjusting from here out. Uh, I took a tape measure and started measuring out where I want it once I put the bumper on. But as you can see, everything's mounted up there with the rib nuts and I gotta get the air diverter installed as well and as you can see I mean it is tight it's so much rubbing it so I'm gonna make some adjustments here it's not rubbing now because I moved it earlier it was rubbing but over here it's rubbing now so hopefully it doesn't cause too much problems with that so now again, I'm gonna just start uh, making my adjustments with the bumper on and trying to make sure it's measured and even all the way around two inches. It's a two inch splitter. Um, so hopefully I'll have a video of it once I'm finished. All right guys, so uh, I finally got it on. I installed these side mounts to these anchors. The diverter and it's pretty easy, it's just little screws. You kind of measure it out to reflect the air back into the inner cooler. Lined it up. Looking good. Same thing on both sides. And it's pretty strong. A little test here. Pretty sturdy and strong, so hope I get the bumper on it now and get it back up and running. Thanks for watching.